Take a look at these images and see if anything looks familiar to you. Can you identify the differences and similarities between them? Surprisingly, these images represent two distinct objects, a satellite and a planet. On the right, the moon is clearly visible, but on the left, many might assume it's also an image of the moon. However, it is actually the mysterious planet Mercury. How can a planet and a moon look so similar? Observing these objects, it's easy to mistake them for twins. Both display a gray surface with numerous craters resulting from meteorite impacts throughout their formation histories. However, a notable difference between the craters seen on Mercury and the Moon is the rays surrounding the craters. These rays are formed by dust and other materials ejected onto the surface during impact. The crater rays are significantly more prominent on the surface of Mercury compared to the lunar surface, indicating that the rays on Mercury consist mainly of finer-grained material. One explanation for this difference suggests that the ray craters on Mercury are more recent and, therefore, less eroded by space compared to craters on the Moon. The abundant presence of impact craters on both objects is attributed to the absence of a thick atmosphere. Instead, they have extremely tenuous and unprotected exospheres, leaving their surfaces vulnerable to space damage. During the formation of the solar system, there was considerable volcanic activity due to the hot and volatile environment. Evidence of this activity is apparent on the surfaces of the Moon and Mercury, where what appear to be craters are actually dormant volcanoes. Unlike the mountainous volcanoes on Earth, volcanic formations on Mercury likely originated from lava flowing through fissures in the crust, spreading across the surface. On the Moon, we find steep domes indicating similar volcanic activity. Additionally, the dark regions on the Moon consist of extensive plains of once liquid rock and lava. Although liquid water is not present on the Moon or Mercury, there are indications of ice on their surfaces. NASA's MESSENGER mission identified the presence of hydrogen in amounts consistent with frozen water at the north and south poles of Mercury, where sunlight rarely reaches. Recent research conducted by NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter suggests that the Chaco crater on the Moon may also harbor ice in its permanently shadowed areas. Ironically, despite the Moon being considerably colder, Mercury has more abundant ice reserves on its surface. Further exploration of the surfaces of both the Moon and Mercury reveals many similarities in their compositions. Both have crusts containing substantial amounts of oxygen and minerals forming silicates, Traces of elements like aluminum and titanium are also identified on their surfaces, giving the Moon and Mercury a reflective capacity. However, as we delve deeper, distinct features emerge that differentiate these celestial bodies. Despite their surfaces appearing similar to the naked eye, the use of advanced telescopes reveals differences in their natural colors. When digitally enhancing Mercury's image, shades of blue, yellow, and orange become visible, while the Moon retains its predominant gray and brown hues. Another significant distinction between these astronomical twins is size. Mercury, with a diameter of 4,879 kilometers, is larger compared to the Moon, which has a diameter of 3,474 kilometers even with similar compositions. The discrepancies in size and color between them indicate variations in their formation processes. Studying the similarities and differences between the Moon and Mercury contributes to a deeper understanding of the formation of planets and other celestial bodies in our solar system. Thus, despite initial similarities, there are distinct divergences that deserve exploration. So, what's your take on this? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for notifications about upcoming videos.